Hi, this is Janos, it's Real World Audio, and it's questions and answers time. This time it is uh, of a comment I received on the High End Will Disappoint video, and it's by R. David San. And, and he said, Janos, as always, I appreciate your topics and content. In this video, you primarily focused on studio overtly processed music, which leads to this question. Where and how do you find high-end systems, per your definition, that land perform with the respect to the reproduction of unamplified live music? So, regards, David. So, thank you, David. And, uh, okay, I'm going to answer that. So, the reason why I started this channel is because I can't find systems like that so if you want to go to a store and and buy things and put them mix and match together uh can't i i, I didn't find uh, at that time i heard a system like that uh, but that was at the price where you needed to trade the royce royce silver spirit for it and uh, that 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 wasn't really an option for me, and um, I, I can't really recommend it now because it's been two decades ago I had that experience, and it really. Uh, when you hear something, you cannot interpret a system in the vacuum. It it happens in a room, and and that's one reason why I cannot recommend really anything. And that's why I do not have like recommendations and I'm not going out to to look at products and compare A to B and whatnot because uh, unless we are talking about a specific room and a system in a room and uh, then it's not happening because even if you have like a perfect system that you hear wow that, that's what I want you put it in your room it's uh, it might sound completely different there so that's why there's no absolute recommendations and, and especially if you want to reproduce a, a sound that is lifelike, per my definition, uh, you cannot do it with, with, a, with, a, with a textbook recipe. There is no, no shortcut to that and I cannot offer a shortcut. However, what I can offer is education, how to get you to a level where you can go through that process and do it for yourself and make things happen. And um, that's what I found, is that uh, you need expertise to, to put together a system like that in the room you have. And you also have to work a lot on your room, on, uh, on, on how your system fits there. And then really, uh, it's, it's a long journey. It, there's no, no quick shortcut mm, count because it, it's specific to your actual room. And, and without hearing the room, without being there, I cannot give any recommendations. Uh, and also uh, about my system, people have the false assumption that, for example, I'm here in the upstairs room because this is the room where I, where my void pipes live. So this is the room that is for the void pipes and that matches them perfectly. And 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 people think that that I will have a much better experience bringing them downstairs. Because downstairs I have better, much better front end than up here. But that's all wrong. Because, yeah, sure, front end is way better, like a billion times better. But the speakers don't match the room downstairs. So the overall result, it's, it's not, not, uh, not that sound that is natural by my definition doesn't get to that level even though the resolution and, and hi-fi qualities and high-end qualities are much higher downstairs and most audiophiles would just wow say wow but it it it's 
taken away from naturalness. Uh, and, and it's not because it's the speaker's fault or anything, no. It is, uh, every speaker has, has a room that they are really a good match for, and, and you cannot just buy a loudspeaker in a store and, and put it in your room and just pray that it will be the best for your room, no. You have to just uh, do serious work on it, uh, try out loads of things and just figure out, and, and in the end, uh, you you will see that there's a, a lot of damn luck that's associated with finding uh, the an uncanny synergy because uh, that's the secret sauce for uh, for an audio system that that sounds natural per my definition is to find the synergy. And the synergy is not just within your system, not just like front-end to speakers, through interconnects, all sorts of cables, but the absolutely most vital part of synergy is synergy of the system with your room. And that's the absolute, because the room <laughs> acoustics that speaks for about 70% of sound. I, I have previously made like tons of videos on this subject like how much room acoustics uh, count but I made one video uh, maybe I can look up <laughs> if I find the title because uh, uh, that's another story but anyway there's a video uh, where I tell my experience of uh, having of hearing a really basic system which, which people don't even call audiophiles. So it's, it's like, a, like a higher grade consumer system, but in an excellent acoustics situation. And to this day, that was one of the best uh, experiences I ever had in my life hearing cantatas and Bach's works because I listen to Bach's cantatas in, the, on, in that environment and it was just staggering and if I have the choice to have the most refined audio system in a crappy acoustic space in, in like let's say like a, a studio somewhere in a high rise versus a, a barely introductory level system in a chapel, in in a, in a in a in a really wonderful uh, building that has amazing acoustics. That's it. I I take the latter one because room acoustics just counts for so much. You can not have natural sound in an unnatural room. That's the bottom line. So my answer to that question, the helpful bit, is that to have a natural sounding system, you need a natural sounding room. And once you have a natural sounding room, then even if your budget is less than a thousand dollars, you can put together something that will work beautifully there. Do, and now you would ask me, suggest something for like that. I can't because I am not a mainstream guy. I am the worst person to give advice what gear you should choose, particularly because I don't give that about what is sold on the market. Uh, and I don't go out of my way to seek out, to listen to anything. My audio buddies drag me to, to hear stuff and, and when I hear stuff, hear new stuff, I just, oh, okay, that, that's cool, it's, that's all right. But on my own, I don't go after these experiences because uh, I don't find any commercial gear to that refinement that I'm looking for. Uh, always, whenever I, I see a piece of commercial gear, I open it up and see what's inside. And, uh, and I always find a lot of avenues, a lot of things that, that need to be just kicked up to the next level, that need to be adjusted. 
lots of great ideas always, but there's always something, part of the solution that's missing, that's not optimized. And, uh, and when you are putting together a system, the most important part is not the individual components, but that all of these have to match each other. You need synergy. You need to build synergy with your whole system that includes the room. And the room is the most important bit. So when I, I, I think about my, my audio system, then my thoughts start with the room. And, and I build it based on the room. So what is the room? What kind of speaker will work well in that room? What kind of amplifier will work well with that loudspeaker? And then the front end driving that amplification. And, how, and then how do I take care of volume control and, and, and those tiny bits? How, how do I fine tune things? And once I have it, then I'm fine tuning the system and I'm not changing pieces in it. I'm not tossing out the amplifier, getting a new one, because, oh, there's someone in, in, uh, wrote about a different technology, different solution, blah, 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 something. No. If you, it's like a person. Think about it that your audio system is like your body. And if, you, like, for example, you are taking your amp, tossing it out, getting a new one, it's like a t heart transplant. Like, tearing out your own heart and, and just getting, oh, maybe there was a, a person who died in, in Sweden and, and he was a really good guy, maybe a monk. And I'm getting that monk's heart. Who I will feel so enlightened. By the way, uh, I had a classmate who had a friend who had this exact situation. The guy was a, a junkie, a drug addict at age 19. He had a, a car accident, a fatal car, near fatal car accident, he needed a heart transplant and he got the heart of a Swedish monk. And guess what? When he recovered, he became a monk and he left that uh, lifestyle behind him. So uh, that e example might sound a bit extreme to you, but that's, uh, that's just to illustrate what that type of attitude, like, like just changing one amplifier to the other, does to your system, it radically alters the course. So what is my approach to it? If I think that my heart is weak enough, then do exercises, work on my cardio, keep my diet better, look at cholesterol level, etc., etc. Work on your heart, that, that's what's beating, that's what's circulating the live blood improve it, work on it, tweak by tweak, just get it better and better. Unless you really hate what you have, then get a heart transplant. But if your system, you really like the sound, you just want a little bit better, a little bit more natural, you can do it by doing small changes to it. And that's this, what this channel is about, how to approach that, how to listen to things so that you can uh, identify what's going on and and what sort of changes do you need can you get where you want to by small modifications or do you need a heart transplant or maybe you need like a complete uh, different in systems approach so uh, for that what i can say so far maybe this was helpful in finding natural sounding equipment but uh, uh, I try to give uh, maybe a little overview on how I think what is one way, this is not the only way, but it's one way that I find, uh, that I found how I could get to the sound where I want it, is building vacuum tube amplifiers which are zero feedback. Uh, you can either have like single-ended triodes, single-ended pentodes, push-pull triode, push-pull pentode. Uh, most important bit is to have them no feedback, as short signal path as possible. They will work as hearts in a natural sounding system. Made them with speakers that are... Uh, 
as uh, good loads as possible, no current hungry uh, speakers, uh, responsive speakers, speakers that translate the energy you put into them to sound. Because when you have a current hungry, low efficiency speaker, it translates the energy that the amplifier puts out into heat. And there's a tiny bit of sound radiated to the sound compared to the monstrous amount of heat that's being released by the speaker. Uh, so that's basically most of your information that you are pumping from your amplifier to the speakers getting lost as heat. And that's a surefire way of not getting to a natural sound, but getting a mechanical sound. You still can get a very uh, engaging, very attractive sound, but it will be mechanical. It won't, will not be natural. So I would say that's, that's kind of my approach. And, uh, and this channel is really unfolding this picture to a degree that first helps you just find the types of audio gear that fit into this picture and then to give you the courage to either modify them to really fulfill the potential they have because the way you are getting it out of the box they are um, living up to maybe 20 percent of their potential that they carry and unless you get to modifying them you are getting stuck with 20 percent of their potential and that's why people need to go to ridiculous levels of uh, price ranges to get to uh, a nice sound when you are doing with commercial gear or you need to go to ridiculous uh, extents of systems matching to get the synergy at a, a low price level. So thank you, David, for your question. I hope it really helped everyone. And... Uh, Yep, so that was my experience that to satisfy my hunger for natural sound, I had to go into it and build my own. And FYI, now I have 20 plus years of systems building experience, but in my first years when, when, when I was an audio fledgling, uh, my first system that I put together was already a natural sounding one and and in comparison to what I had today it, it was very modest priced and uh, already gave me full experience and full satisfaction and I just continued tweaking and building and learning because uh, I have this natural curiosity to do so but if I were to just keep that system that I had back then, I would be still a very, very, very happy camper. So please like and subscribe. And, uh, and I wish you luck for your system building adventures. Bye bye.